Welcome to SHOT Show 2023, everybody. I am here at the Boker booth with Mike. Nice to meet you, George. You as well, Mike. Um, we got a lot of cool knives here, and this is a sampling of what's new, but Boker is known for a lot of new stuff. So check out the coming soon set page for Boker at BladeHQ.com for what isn't on the table. But let's start with what's going on. What's right. cool? Right. Well, we got a lot of cool stuff for this year. We've got some really great new introductions, uh, both from Boker Germany, Boker Plus, uh, and some Arbolito stuff. Uh, we're going to start out right here. This is the Boker Trapper, it's spelled T-R-P-P-R. Uh, and this is a brand new design. Uh, we, we're kind of known for doing the, the Trappers, the Scouts, the Stockman, uh, the Volintegral, Barlow's. This like is, the tra traditional slip joint yes, style Yes, it's the, that classic style. This is a brand new design straight from Germany that they came up with uh, last year and it finally got it on the ca uh, in the catalog this year for us. And this is Magna Cut Steel. It's uh, going to retail at 400 uh, MSRP's for, for 12.95, and this is just a really, really well-made knife. Uh, titanium bolsters, black ambolino wood for the scales, and just really, really comfortable. This to me is, I think, the next generation for what we should be doing at Boker. Uh, it's comfortable, it's modern, it looks really, really cool, and this is just a great step for us. We're excited about it. Yeah, I love to see the titanium bolster. I love to see the pocket clip with the ball. Like a lot of, like you get the strength of the titanium without the weight of it, and you also get the beauty of this wood. It's not going to chew up your pocket. And then, of course, Magna Cut Steel is all the rage. It's a very exciting knife, but it's still clean and classic and, and Boker style. It certainly is. Yeah, a very nice offering. I like that a lot. What's next? All right. This one's kind of near and dear to me. Uh, I work personally on this project along with my colleague Kenton, and this is the 1969 Z28 Damast. Uh, we came up with this idea based on some of the previous models we've done, uh, the Sherman Tank models, the Tiger, the Tirpitz, and we just wanted to do something that was a little more American, had some cool pop and some color to it. So this is made with steel from a 1929 Z28 Camaro. All right. 920, so uh, a Camaro from 1929, you said? 1969, I'm 1969. sorry. 1969, yeah. sorry, I must have heard you wrong. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that's really cool. So I must confess, I was talking to my sister once and she said, you know what would be super awesome is if Boker teamed up with BMW or Audi or one of those German brands and in Germany made a Damascus out of a piece of that car and then put their logo on the other side of the pivot. So essentially the same thing, but yeah. we've started with the American side. And I like that. And Corvettes are super awesome. They're muscle. Muscle that, or import, that, that, let us know That might be a future iteration. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And, and the, theoretically, this should be the first in a line of American muscle cars. That was the whole concept. We came up with a list of four models that we wanted to start with, and this is the very first one. All right, well, I'm excited to see what comes down the line. And I think a lot of knife people are also car people, and they're gonna love that. Yep. And especially with this blue, I can just see like putting this in your, in your Mustang or your Camaro. Yeah. Right, which one? Uh, that's the Camaro. Camaro, there yeah. we go. I can just see somebody popping this in their pocket and then hopping into their matching Camaro and and one of the cool things that I appreciate about working with Boker is that we pay attention to the little details. The 1969 Camaro was the only one that had those three little gills on the rear quarter panel, so we incorporated that into the knife. And those are the kind of things that we do to make the knife special, and anybody that knows that car is going to go, oh, that's why that's on there. So we have those you know, fun little things that make the knife special. Yeah, you do a lot of homework. <laughs> For this, we really did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you and your colleague really hit that one out of the park. I love oh, it. Thank you. Yeah, and then this one is, I'm just gonna guess based on the colorway, I'm, I'm gonna wager aircraft. Guess right. So this <laughs> is the P51 Mustang. This is a Boker Plus model, so the steel uh, and the blade is hand forged Chad Nichols Damascus. Um, and this really was a, a very challenging piece to, to come up with because the available steel that we could turn into blades on this is extremely rare and limited to where anybody that has this particular plane, they don't want to part with the pieces. There's no there's no scrap out there that we can get for it. So it was extremely challenging to find this material. Yeah, and even, and even when you find a scrap plane, most of it's aluminum anyway. Yeah, there are very few pieces on the plane itself that could be turned into the blade. Yeah, so I could see maybe the barrels of the guns from the wings or the engine. I don't know, but I uh, imagine there's a lot of homework that went into that it's, one, too. It's pieces of landing gear, strut rod, that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. it's it's very limited material. Yeah, and you got Chad Nichols to make it, too. Yes, we did. And he's uh, one he's, of the, he's, 
We do a lot of work with him. One he's, of the best Damascus makers in the he's, world. He's a favorite of ours as well. Yeah. And on that, it's, uh, let's see, 552 MSRP, and the, the knife design itself was Steve Kelly. I love that. So if you guys saw Top Gun Maverick last year, a P-52 is the plane he was restoring in the movie. Uh, P-51. Oh, that's P-51. Yep. I apologize. That's okay. We'll anyway, lots of, lots of history on this knife, though. And that's, that's what I love about Boker, is you tend to bring materials that are of historical significance and put them in a knife so I can carry it in my pocket every day. And I'll tell you, it's genius because that is the only way I've ever got my father to carry a knife. And the way it was, I mean, I actually have mine version what, here. What's he carrying? He carries a Castlewood Trapper. Okay. Not a, right. He has the Barlow. I have the club. But this one, I don't know if these are still around. These were a limited run that were made with timbers from the Castle it, Schlossberg. Uh, yeah, it was Castleberg in Schlossberg, Germany. Uh, 1,179 of each of those. We did, I think, a, a Trapper, uh, the Canoe, um, the Cub, and a couple others. Yeah. But... This is, it's a great knife. It's made in Germany by people who've been making knives for centuries, and it has materials that make you smile. Like, yeah, there's a story. The wood of this handle held up a castle wall for almost a century, almost a millennium. Yeah. And that's, that's the Boker way. You, you get premium products with very interesting materials that are still gonna be great knives, but they're gonna be story pieces too. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I love it. All now right. we got some karambits here. All right, these are pretty neat. Definitely a new introduction for us. We've done some karambits in the past, but these are a real big step up for us. Uh, two models, the blue and the black, and this is 154 cm steel. Uh, we're using G10, but not just for the scales, but for the the liner and ring as well. So this entire ring is G10. It's got an oh. octagon shape to it, uh, which is a little bit different. It's a little, little eight traditional, but we think it's pretty cool and it's comfortable. So as you're, if you've got that grip, you know, you, you, you can feel that. It's, it's nice, easy grip, fingers in and out, really easy. And mm. one of the things that we did that's a little different on these, this pocket deploy mechanism yeah. is detachable. So if that's not your thing and you don't want to be super tactical about it, you can just take that off and it's going to slide out of your pocket nice and easy. And you don't have to worry about it opening up on you if that's not what you want. Yeah, I like that a lot. And the other thing I like about this pocket deploy mechanism is sometimes you see the one that is integral to the blade. But this one, when it's a little bit wider, it snags your pocket a little bit easier on the way out. I was fiddling with this before. Less damage to your pants, too. Yeah. It's not such a sharp point, so you don't have to be as accurate, and you can still yank pretty hard, and exactly. you can walk away from your tactical encounter without a hole in your pants. And that's a double win for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and this is uh, an Alessandro DeSantis design. MSRP on this is $130.95. I like that, and I like the 154 cm as well. Yeah, it's a good it blade good, steel, good nice and tough. Yeah. yeah, and reversible clips too, so the righties and lefties. I like that. I think this one, this one's set up the way I'd carry it right now. I would probably carry it weak side to gain access to. I don't know. I am not a tactical person. <laughs> Maybe I should be. Probably should lose a few pounds first. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have our Boker Plus annual knife. This is, and this is a pre-production sample, so don't judge us on this alone. Uh, it, the final version is gonna be a thumb stud without a flipper, and there's gonna be some titanium Damascus in here uh, as a pivot ring, and also some blue accents on some of the hardware. Uh, this is a Salmonero design, and MSRP is gonna be 499 with magnet cut steel blade. But we've done this, uh, a different design every year for the annual Boca Plus knife and they just continue to get better and better. We've done some Burnley's in the past, I think we've done a Rexford, we've done um, a Jesper, and I think this is a great step for us. Yeah, so I was fiddling with this knife earlier as well, and I have to tell you the thing I love the most. It was a bit of a puzzle because I, I like picked it up and I looked at the spine and I say, I don't see a stop pin there. How does this knife stop when I open it? And once it opens, I mean, it's rock solid in there like a premium knife should be. How did it stop? And this, the answer is because the stop pin goes through the blade and it's milled into the handle here. So not okay. only does that give you one less part to put together, but also it makes it so dust doesn't collect on your stop pin so you don't get, so it'll fully engage the lock every single time someone's pushing the blade forward at all. Man, you really know your stuff. You just picked this up like 20 minutes ago and you already figured that out? <laughs> well, I, I fancy myself a knife nerd. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love this milling texture. like. We've been at SHOT Show and the logo is a target and this is a known firearms depot. I think this is gonna be popular among the gun guys. 
Especially the ones you're building out the Gucci Glocks and stuff. We, we like to know our audience. Yeah. And you know it, and I love this tread on this backspacer. I like that jumping as well. It just adds a nice bit of personality and grip. Yeah. Personality and grip. What's next? Next up, we have the Boker Plus Samosaur. This is a slip joint. So opens and closes without the use of a lock. It's G10 with a D2 blade. MSRP is going to be $114.95, and this is a Raphael Duran design. Yeah. It's big, it's beefy, it's got a nice wide blade. It's got that, uh, I prefer the stone wash finish. I think it just adds a nice bit of personality. I'm not a big fan of shiny. Yeah, especially if you're actually going to use the thing, it's going to get scratched up. So yes. keep it stone washed. So I got to tell you a story. A little while ago in our videos, we featured a Boker Karakurt. The okay. automatic from Jesper yes. for Voxnes. A really awesome knife. And somebody in the comments says, that knife is really cool, I love the design, but I can't get it in England. I can't get it in wherever they are in Europe. But this one is sort of in the same vein. It's a, it's a beautiful design from a really cool designer. Similar size. Mm -hmm. Similar size as well. But that slip joint enables a lot of our international customers to carry this and enjoy it. But it, it's not just... It's not a trapper, it's not a Swiss Army knife, it's something interesting it's that different. is different, yes. Something distinctive. And if I lived in Europe and I saw this thing, I'd buy the first one. Um, if you can find one in a flipper and a liner lock, though, that's my style. Oh, uh, <laughs> we do something similar. I think it's called the bad guy. The bad guy? Okay, so, I'm checking yeah. it out. Yeah. Check out the bad guy. Tell me if it's awesome. Or is it bad? Hey, hey I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one. D2 blade, too. Yes. All right, next up, this is the Friend FRND. And again, pre-production sample. This came over from Germany, so this is going to be an automatic knife, but we don't have springs in these particular samples. Uh, but one of the things that I think is just really, really cool about this is the scale. It's a new material that I had never heard of before today. It's called Grivory. G-R-I-V-O-R-Y. And it's just super light. Uh, MSRP on this is going to be... 114.95 with a D2 blade, and this is an internal Boker design. Yeah, so you said this is Grivery, which I, I believe is an injection molded plastic, but it felt like G10 when I first picked it up. It does, up. and that's what confused me. I was like, yeah. Ooh, this is different. What do we got going on here? Yeah, it's, it's super light, and I mean, I'm just imagining this is an automatic. It has a lot of the trimmings of a perfect everyday carry knife. It's got that three and a half inch-ish blade, a nice handle that's fairly neutral. You can get in a variety of grips if you're like slicing a banana or cutting a seat belt, whatever you're doing with your knife. And it's light and it looks good. Like it's it's clean. It's, it's a boker distinctively, but it's yes. also not overt. It's a clean and minimal design, and I really like that. And we're doing that in two colorways. Uh, one has, uh, it's all black, and the other is a uh, stainless uh, satin blade. I think that'll be great. And in the end, it's gonna have a blue pivot color, yeah? Yes, yeah. Some, some very subtle blue accents in there. And you know how much we love a subtle blue accent. It's I don't know, how much, tell me. <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. Next up, this is the Epicenter Backlock. This is a Todd Rexford design. Um, G10, I think we're on D2. Yep, D2. MSRP is going to be $142.95. And just a nice, clean, big, beefy knife that's going to be a workhorse for you. So I think this might be my favorite knife on the table because, first of all, I love Todd Rexford designs. And also, this yellow pop, like, it's, it's a splash of color, but you don't see a whole lot of yellow in the world. I almost get a Batman vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. But it's also a fairly big knife, and I love me a big knife. And my all-time favorite locking mechanism is the back lock. Because it's 175% ambidextrous, same experience for righties and lefties. And it's just a clean aesthetic. It has very good ergonomics. I love this knife. I'm going to get one. How much is it going to cost me? <laughs> MSRP is $142.95. Well, that's not even bad. Nope. 142.95, D2 Blade, Rexford Design, Batman Colors. I'll buy one from you. <laughs> It'll be great. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure there's no retail sales at SHOT Show, so. Yeah, they frown on that here. <laughs> they frown. All right, yeah. and lastly, there's a fixed blade. Yep, this is a really cool little model called the Shrimp. Tiny little blade, big handle, but super comfortable and just feels so good in the hand. Uh, D2, 
G10 Kydex sheath, and it looks like a shrimp. Whoever named this knife just absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I could see it. Like, uh, I don't know, what a shrimp eat? Kelp. Kelp. I don't know, I made that up. I don't know. Shrimp eat something, but I could see this thing eating whatever shrimp eat. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that is, like, like, like you said, that is very small, but I'll see if I can catch it sitting in my palm there. It kind of wants to separate your pinky from your ring finger, but in the hand, it is rock solid with just a tiny little blade that you can easily control. A nice sweepy belly too. So originally when I saw this, I thought that looks like a tactical knife, but I could see this just being an everyday carry knife. Yeah, and this kit could be one as a neck knife also. I do like that. I like that a lot. You're gonna like the price too, $58.95. You're right, I really do like the price. So I'm probably gonna buy one of these too. I'll, I'll get you a PO. Sweet. <laughs> My quota for the year. <laughs> Victory. Hey. Look at that, we all got job security. <laughs> all right, Mike, that's a lot of cool knives on the table. Well, I'm gonna surprise you with one more thing. Oh! We're bringing back the advent calendar. Yeah. So, I don't have the samples here, but it's gonna be uh, based on our Slack, which is a Boker Plus model. It's gonna have three different scale options, uh, reversible clip, uh, not reversible, I'm sorry, multiple clips. One's blue anodized, one's uh, just uh, satin. We've got a removable blade also, so you could pivot between uh, the back lock, you can do um, uh, a thumb stud opener. So we're gonna have some really cool options in on this. Yeah, so every year around Christmas time, we get these Boker advent calendars, and it's the most wonderful advent calendar I've ever seen. You've seen chocolate, you've seen coffee, but this one, you get a piece to your knife every day, and you get to build a knife, and on Christmas, you have a knife. And this time you have a knife that is very customizable. You have effectively multiple knives. Mm -hmm. Santa's very generous this year. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about these. I think they're going to love them. Yeah, it's a fun thing. I mean, especially to give to your first knife or you know, your son, your daughter, whatever. Use that to open up the rest of your Christmas presents. Uh, this, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. Very well done. And a very exciting year from Boker. Yeah. And I, more to come at Blade Show. More to come at Blade Show. Absolutely. So stay tuned. Come on, you know us. That's in June, beginning of June. Stay tuned. We're going to see even more Boker coming out. And I'm very excited. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, George. Appreciate it. has been it. my genuine pleasure to see these cool knives and to hear your takes on them. And the project you did here, I think that was a, a very well done maneuver there. Thank you. Lots yeah, of we're, we're excited about it. Yeah, this is a love letter to a car and to knives. And I appreciate that. And I'm I sure do people it. do too. All right, well, thank you for joining us today with Boker. Oh yeah, I'm getting a signal right now. We need to check your pocket. So I have that oh, Castlewood Club. What you got? All right, which pocket? Front or back? All of them. Okay. <laughs> I, He's a real knife guy, I'm he not, has several. I'm not a big fan of the big chunky knives. So I generally carry either the Quake and Mini or the Urban Trapper. Um, and I just happen to have on me an old model that's actually a discontinued model for us now, but the Roundhouse, which is just a really, really cool knife that I had picked up as a gift for a friend that I have to go drop off to somebody later on here at the SHOT Show. But that's what I've got in my pocket right now. Wow. So let's see, we've got Lucas Burnley, Brad Zinker, and who designed this one? This was, let's see. I'm not even familiar with that maker's mark. LA? LA. I gotta do some more homework. <laughs> in Boker fashion. Me. Boker, doing homework every day. <laughs> There's a lot to know here. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. Stay tuned. We've got more coverage coming from SHOT Show. Check out all your Boker knives at BladeHQ.com, and we'll see you on the next one.